Welcome to the Library of the Great Silence. A new library, not of books, but of objects. And not just any objects. The Library of the Great Silence is a collection of objects that have been in some way catalysts for change. Perhaps they have helped us to change the way we think, or maybe they have enabled us to do things in new ways. The aim of the library is nothing short of transformational change. Let's be honest, the news is not good at the moment, and so maybe, if we consider how different objects have transformed our lives in the past, we might be able to come up with some fresh insights into how we might do things differently and better in the future. My name is Robert Good and I'm an artist based in Cambridge, UK. I'm interested in art, text and the way in which technology is impacting our lives. Last year, I was lucky enough to visit Silicon Valley with a research grant from Arts Council England to go in search of the home of the internet. I'm not sure I found it, but I did find the artist and self-proclaimed experimental philosopher Jonathan Keats. Jonathan is currently an artist in residence at SETI, the famous Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence Institute in the USA, and he is also the founder of this library. Jonathan is concerned that we may be inadvertently heading for an existential crisis, or maybe even extinction. And the library is his way of highlighting the need to think differently. So, for the Cambridge Festival 2023, I agreed to help Jonathan to set up a Cambridge branch of the library. And with artist and curator Judith Wake, we are collecting objects of transformational change for a new exhibition at the Alison Richard Building here in Cambridge. I'll be chatting with Jonathan later in the series to find out more about the ideas behind his project, why exactly it is called the Library of the Great Silence, and why he goes by the title of Chief Terrestrial Librarian. But for now, I'm going in search of transformational objects, and I'll be talking to some of the people who have nominated their examples for inclusion into the library. So join me on my travels around Cambridge, and let's see what transformational objects we can find. And just maybe, they can help us to head off the existential crisis that seems to be waiting for us just around the corner. <laughs>